I'm gonna make one and only one video about this. I'm not even going to mention his name because this is why it's important. I don't, I, I can't even get like 40 minutes into this three hour long vomiting of just every single SEO word attached to some woo woo crazy thing. I can't even speak on half of the stuff because he goes so outside of bounds of what we know is already true. Not because we say it and we just like we someone come up come up with the theory and just demanded that's how physics work. Like this, there's a big misconception people have and how actual physics is done. With one exception to that, I could come up off the top of my head is we do not come up with theories and then look for them in the universe. The one place I have seen that actually done is with Einstein. And there's a whole other still fields of debate behind a lot of that stuff. None of us who are actual physicists run around and come up with things and then just look for them in the universe. That's not how physics is done. What we do is we take things of the universe and we prod them or we poke them and we poke them in a very specific way and we say, oh, hey, if I poke it like this, it does this. And if I poke it by cha my, change my poke a little bit like this, it does that. And I change the poke just a little bit more and it does that. And then you, you take the, you test every kind of poke you can do on that thing or prodding of it and you see how it responds. You take the data for how it responds. Then you put that data on a graph. And typically, in every, almost every occasion, that there becomes, oh, there's a nice curve or a trend that you can see it comes around. And the more you poke, the more you prod this specific thing, the more it does that exact trend. It's, it's repeatable. We don't do things that you cannot repeat and someone can prove afterwards. So any new physics theory... First off, so we don't, we prod it and we get a curve and we're like, oh, hey, wow, that curve is really similar to, oh, X squared or whatever, or the, the logarithm of this. And it needs a couple of coefficients. And then, so we come up with an equation that fits that curve. And then afterwards, we can then use that equation for when we model and build other things about how, let's say, oh, I know if I raise the temperature of this one thing, its tensile strength goes down because it's, it can stretch more or its modulus of elasticity changes. So I can't use it in this building when it's this temperature. We don't just say, oh, I think alloys do this. Some people can do that. Some people have a handful of things and then they go test them and you find a theory or a proof and you do the test and you show okay hey this trend happens when we do this thing and this is applicable and anyone anywhere in the world if you want to go test this you can pull out this thing and you can test it do it exactly like us and you'll get the same results so when you you this, this is what makes it applied physics now whatever any new theory any any grand unification theory will not rewrite what we know about chemistry. It will not change what we know about Newton's laws of motion. It will, it, in fact, the new theory has to f explain and derive all the stuff we have proven the universe does when we prod it. You can't just come up with a new theory and say, oh, everyone's wrong, and well, you can't test it or whatever, but because, we know chemistry does what it does. When you mix certain things together, they always do certain things. As chemistry is extremely established. Any grand unification theory must, must derive all the physics we already know to be true. And again, we don't claim that this is how the universe works and we're saying and we demand it's this. We go, hey, we have this really interesting graph, and whenever we did this thing to these particles, or whenever we did this thing to this material, it always does this. And everyone around the world who's tried it the way we did it, they get this same result. So you can't just come up with a new theory and claim, well, everyone's wrong, and your theory doesn't derive what we know to be true about the universe that is irrelevant of who's perceiving said universe. And again, I get that there's still a lot of stuff in quantum mechanics that we haven't really established, and there might be some crazy new thing that could come and explain that, but nothing 
about a new theory will change what we have measured the universe to do. And whether or not we can explain why the universe is doing something, we are not wrong in the fact that that's what it does when this happens. We have, we literally do have string theory. We have quantum mechanics. We have all sorts of different theories. We have the Goot theory, grand unification. Like, it, it, but all of them have to rederive everything we already know to be true. And they generally do. And that's why we use them. We know quantum mechanics isn't always perfectly correct because it doesn't satisfy gravity right now. We know they're not correct. None of us are standing around and telling you, oh, we know better than you. Like these people keep saying, oh, scientists demand they know. No, we demand we know the universe does this when it's tested that way. And if you try if you're trying to tell me it doesn't, you need to show us an example of when it, when you do this, what we say if you do this, it doesn't have that effect. We literally know we don't have all the answers. That's why most of us became physicists. So we could find those answers. We don't sit here telling you, oh, we know everything about the universe. Like half these hacks try to claim to give themselves the perception of knowing everything. Even when I'm out here claiming my all my crazy theories, I still provide proof. And I will still tell you, hey, this is where my proof lies. This is the historical stuff. This is where the physics says here. This is my speculation. This is my conjecture. I know exactly where my conjectures and my educated speculation ends and where my proof begins. I made my entire profile an effigy to these peer-reviewed papers. If you come into my comments trying to call me some ableist slur, and you didn't spend five seconds looking at all the peer-reviewed papers I have shared to back up my claims, and then just go belligerently calling me names and claiming I'm a hack or I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna make an example of you. Yes, but I, I'm not withholding information and keeping it secret. I can only put so much in every video when there's so much already to be put in each of these videos. Let me explain to you what their game is. And at least this is my theory. I cannot prove that this is my, this is exactly what they're doing. And here's me telling you, this is my theory. I believe this is what's going on because this is what I've seen them doing over and over and over. What it appears to be happening is that they are using these blockbuster hacks to go and then they make three hour long things and chalk full of every SEO word that they have made sure to key in on. And they've spent the last three months making videos to be in place for when you search any one of the words that these clowns keep saying in their three hour long thing. Because they get you to watch the three hour long freaking podcast and that's a lot of money for views and whatnot. So you get you to watch this podcast, so your SEO and your search algorithms are now already going to be keyed a little bit from spending so much time watching that video. And if you go and search any of those crazy woo-woo words that they've got in these podcasts, you then alter your search request, search algorithms for what you get served for the next three, four, five months. They get you to search them because they can't call, they can't affect your SEO, they can't affect your your algorithm responses, but they can get you to go search these words. And if you do go search these words, you will then alter your SEO. So when you go back onto YouTube, you will be flooded with all their other side content that they strategically put in place on YouTube so that after, after you search these words, you get served all their other videos. It's a black hole. It's an SEO black hole where they have just put tons of nonsense and it's, it's just a rabbit hole for you to get lost down while they get paid making these hack movies. I've already proven that Neil deGrasse Tyson that they put on there spent, I don't even know how long, belittling Tesla's freaking ideas for wireless transmission, and he didn't even get it right. He was saying that it can't work for reasons Tesla verbatim says that it doesn't even operate on. This is getting ridiculous, and I have sent so many videos now to these people, and I know my followers have sent videos to Joe Rogan. I haven't gotten a freaking, they don't even try to disprove me. 
They don't try and tell me I'm wrong. They don't, they don't even want to shine light on the things that I'm saying enough to actually even put me on there. And I hope that I'm wrong. I would love for them to kind of reach out and tell me to come on. I highly doubt they're going to do it after I make this video, though. But I would love for them to do it. I don't think they will, though, because they don't want what I'm saying out there. That doesn't push the narrative of what they're trying to do. And at this point, in three months from now, if they did put me on, I would even say that's because they then gamed the SEOs of all the things that I say so that when you go watch whatever I say on there, you go search to find all the freaking videos that they put and made sure were there for you to find and run into and then make it seem like, oh, wow, oh, my God, this is fate. There's all these other videos I didn't know about that they're keeping from us. No, they, they planned it, man. To, to think that these people aren't gaming these videos so that you aren't falling into the next one, you aren't immediately being served the next one. That is the strategy of these platforms. You want your content to continue this revolving door that you keep getting paid for advertisements. And to be clear, I don't make barely any money on any of these things. Or maybe you get like $100 or $200 a month between all my platforms. I, besides my Patreon donors who donate straight to me, I'm not making money. It is not paying my bills here. I wish it was, but it is not would love for that to pay for my bills. I have to do and make turbines and stuff. I'm not on here hawking bull stuff. I'm not, I'm, I'm writing a book. I'm finishing up a book right now that I would love to share with you guys about Nikola Tesla's improved patents. I'm making sure that it's accurate before I put out there. But at, at the same time, it's like, it's getting to become ridiculous what these people are doing. It's, it's obvious. It's, it's getting just hilarious that they don't bother to put anyone of any real worth on there and anyone who is actually proved can be able to be proven wrong they don't put anyone else on afterwards to do that the whole point is to stack up their business ventures so that they keep making more money to push the narratives of whatever they're building and making and whatever technology they all are invested in like i mean even i would be willing to say that they go as far as to then put something out to tell someone that they to tell someone's crazy new technology then to just bash it, which just plummets the stocks on any of these things so they can then go buy it up really cheap and then shelf it because I can't tell me how many times now they've put on these freaking hacks who are literally turn out to be complete scam artists and then, then nothing happens but they make buco bucks making these videos and putting them out there but then they can't even bother to be putting anyone who actually understands any of this stuff on there. Why? Because it would make any of their other stuff look illegitimate. And you wouldn't want to watch the rest of it because you're like, wow, okay, you're putting on crazy. Maybe I'm not going to spend three hours watching this freaking guy's vomit of words that you have to, you clearly, I won't know, you won't know. Because they're just shoving things together to make it look like it's some reasonable thing. It's called techno babble. And again, maybe maybe he's right. Maybe he knows some things, but he doesn't even have the wherewithal to explain any of them in any form of way that actually represents a legitimate explanation. He uses words that are really fancy and fun and frivolous that you have to go look up. And why? Even if you don't follow this stuff and you don't even believe them, if you go look it up, it will irreparably damage your SEO Search results. It will irreparably change the things that are being served to you on a daily basis. If you go watch a bunch of news stuff, for the next five weeks, you're going to get served news stuff, even if you don't want to see it anymore. Because you showed the algorithm that's what you want to watch. And if you engage with it, even more so. It'll keep serving that stuff to you. That's what their game is. It's views and market manipulation. That's my theory. It's speculation. I don't have proof of that. But I'm going to say I have now taken stabs at enough of these people that not one of them, not a single one of them will even mention my name, let alone try to prove me wrong. And I'm talking about people who would who are literally salivating to prove me wrong. They they would love to take someone like me down. I talk so confidently about what I know that I would be a whale for them to be able to prove wrong. They won't even they won't even. They won't even comment. They won't, they won't tell me I'm right. They won't tell me I'm wrong. They literally, it's just ignored. Why? Because I don't believe I'm the truth they actually want to put out. Because it doesn't benefit their investment portfolios. Again, speculation on my part. Here's the other part, though. You know, I have now taken a stab at enough people, too, that are pretty well out there. I haven't been hit by any libel suits, either. Hmm, 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 you know they would try and stop me with libel if they could, too. 
It's, this is ridiculous. Protect yourselves, protect your brains, protect your search results, protect your SEO. They want you to search things that will get you rabbit holed into the rest of their stuff that they have spent millions of dollars to make sure that there's tons of other content for you to consume and buy and watch and all of it, all of it. Protect your brains, protect your phones, protect your computers, protect your search algorithms. They're gaming it, not from their computers, from yours.